Is stock photography and videography still worth it in 2022? That's a question a lot of you might be asking if you're interested in selling your photos and videos online. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Nicole Glass and I'm a photographer based in the Washington DC area. One of the ways that I make money with my photography is by selling stock photos and videos online on stock platforms, which are basically places where other people can search for and purchase your stock media and use them for their own projects. I started selling stock in 2017 and since then the market has only become more and more competitive and yes, more saturated. There are a lot of people who want to sell their photos and videos online with good reason. However, selling stock media still can be a profitable side hustle if you go into it with the right mindset and the right strategies. So if you are interested in selling your photos and videos online this year as stock, this is what I would recommend. Number one, focus on selling video footage. Many of you have heard this before, but it's still one of my most important points, and that is focus on uploading video footage. The earnings potential of video footage is just so much greater than it is for photography. More than 80% of my stock revenue comes from video footage sales, even though only 20% of my stock content consists of video clips. I know many of you are photographers and I know you love to focus on photography because that's what you're good at and that's what you're really passionate about. But if there is something you're taking a photo of, then you might as well create a video clip of the same concept. It will only take you a few extra seconds. Be sure to watch this video right here if you want some tips on how to create sellable video footage. Speaking of video footage, one of the places that I upload my own footage to is a platform called Pond5, and they're actually sponsoring today's video. So here's just a quick message about them. This video is sponsored by Pond5, a stock media platform that's home to millions of stock video clips, music tracks, sound effects, after effects templates, 3D models, and images. In fact, it is the largest video first content marketplace in the world with 30 million stock video clips to choose from, many of which can't be found anywhere else. The website is super easy to use with advanced filters that allow you to find exactly what you need. Pond5's mission is to create world-class storytellers. So to help you tell your story, I'm excited to offer you a 20% discount on your first purchase from Pond5 with a link in my description below. They have also launched their new Refer and Earn program, which I am part of. Anyone can join and start referring. Buyers you refer will receive 20% off their first order and you'll earn 20% of that first purchase. Plus, you'll get 5% of any purchase that user makes in a whole year. The incentives just get better if you're a contributing artist, so definitely check out the Sell Your Media page to see what being a Pond5 contributor is all about. Okay, back to my tips. Tip number two, be in places where other people are not. Editorial stock media can be a really lucrative niche. Selling photos and videos of protests and political news events has been extremely profitable for me. A lot of news organizations around the world need footage of these types of events, but can't always be there themselves. So if you live in a city where something major is going on, grab your camera and go out and document it. In 2020, my top selling video clips were all related to COVID-19, BLM protests, election day in DC, a MAGA rally, and events leading up to inauguration day. A lot of these events were pretty big in the news and they continue to sell to this day. Number three, find a new perspective. It's easy to visit a popular landmark and create a quick little video clip panning left to right, but chances are there might already be plenty of videos of that landmark for sale. So how will yours stand out? Sometimes a little shift in perspective is all you need. If you have a drone and you're legally allowed to fly in that place, then by all means, use it. Create some nice aerial footage of that landmark or set up your tripod and create a cinematic time-lapse of that place. One of my top selling stock footage clips is actually a simple time-lapse of the US Capitol building. Number four, be ahead of the news. What's happening in the news next month? If you're psychic, then you have an advantage. 
No, but seriously, anyone can do a little bit of predicting just by staying up to date with world affairs. If you can create stock media around that concept, then you're already ahead of everyone else and your photos and videos are likely to get downloads. For example, I created some footage and photos related to mask wearing in grocery stores and in Washington DC before the pandemic even reached Washington DC in 2020. As a result, my photos and videos actually ranked really high in search results for a while there. If you are fast and you can create stock photos and videos of a concept early on before everybody else is doing it, then you're likely to do well with it. I mean, just imagine if you had been the first person to document the toilet paper shortage of 2020. Photos like that, they were doing really well. Number five, diversify. It's worth mentioning that in order to bring a decent monthly income by selling stock, you should definitely sign up for a few different platforms and sell your media across you know, various different places. My top sellers are different on every single stock platform that I use. Some photos and videos do really, really well on one place, but not so well in another place. So by spreading out my content across, you know, a variety of different platforms, I am avoiding, you know, putting all of my eggs in one basket, as they say, and thus bringing in a little bit more income than if I only put them in one place. Bringing in a decent income with stock photography and videography is no easy feat, that's for sure. And it's no way to make quick money or overnight money. It requires a lot of time spent shooting, editing, keywording, uploading and strategizing. But if you're just starting out in 2022 and you want to try it out, then definitely incorporate some of these tips. And remember, you're in this for the long haul. One photo or video, as awesome as that photo or video might be, will probably not make you a whole lot right away. But over the course of many, you know, years or months or weeks, if it's super newsworthy, your earnings will add up. And then looking back on, you know, what you earned on that, you'll actually notice, oh, hey, over the course of, you know, X many years, that photo has made me, you know, this much. It can really add up. So what do you think? Are you planning to delve into the world of stock photography and videography this year? Let me know in the comments below. As always, like this video if you liked it, subscribe to my channel if you are new here, and I will see you in the next video. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Can I keep the healing?